Welcome to Tinder, one of the few places you can ask a complete stranger for nudes and might actually get them. Yikes. See, I like Tinder, but maybe in the same way undergrads like eating ramen for three consecutive months. We tried something else if we could afford it, but at this point, we're just happy we haven't starved to death. And yes, yes, I know the app is infamously known to facilitate hookups, but that's not really my shtick. I'm more of a relationship type of guy, even though like Tinder's a weird place to be looking for that kind of thing. As aside from like the real like world. See, I'd rather be left alone but I'm also lonely, and Tinder lets me live in this paradox. See, that's kind of the point of this video. Why do people use Tinder? And, and I guess that's my reasoning. I said this in a previous video, but talking to girls face-to-face -face is not my strong suit. Uh, shout out to Fear of Rejection. Going strong since 04. Because there's a chance that they're not interested, and I don't even want to deal with that as an option. Because see, if we match, you thought I was attractive, and you can't take that back. There's no backseas on that. Well, I mean, you could unmatch, but you already matched in the first place. So. And I'm sure we've all heard the cliche quote, the worst they can say is no. Which implies that being told no isn't supposed to be a big deal. And whoever came up with that, I don't think really was told no before. Example, my friend Damien asked a girl for a number once. We recorded him. This was the result. Hi, my name is Damien. Hi. Can I have your number? No. Now, I understand it's about approach and personality and exuding confidence in that it's okay to fail. And you know what? That's absolutely right. But y'all can go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna keep using the app that literally lets you close out of awkward conversations. Now, if we're being real, I don't ever take the app too seriously. I've only been on two Tinder dates. It went awful. That's a story for another day though. In fact, if I ever met a girl I'd actually date on Tinder, I'm pretty sure we lie about it. In fact, that's literally in my bio that we should lie about it. But I've always found being able to bypass the whole do they think I'm attractive thing to be pretty nice. As superficial as it is to judge 50 women off their looks in the span of two minutes. But I've always seen it as a necessary evil to find a girl that I can finally settle down with. However, not everyone thinks like this. For example, I have this one friend that uses the app unironically. Uh, we'll call him Xander. He's an active Tinder user and hasn't found love yet. But I'm pretty sure that's not what he's looking for. When I asked him about his thoughts on Tinder, he likened it to... Uh I'm so close to getting this demonetized. He likened it to Pornhub, which I'm not gonna explain why, but it's pretty obvious. Now I think about it, I'm sure not everyone is out there to look for love like me. So I know I really need to start reading people's bios before swiping right on them, yikes. In fact, I ran a Twitter poll to see why people use Tinder and what their success rates were and whatnot. But the people who follow me, I don't think really got what Tinder was about. I'm under the age of 18. Just stare at pretty girls who never look in my direction in I real life. I in my life that can cook toaster strudels perfectly. So obviously the next logical step would be, why not just ask girls on Tinder? So I asked like a ton of girls. And I wouldn't say like a large variety of people hit me back. No response, no response, no response. No. But now I think about it, asking people why they're on Tinder probably isn't the best like, like first message. Like immediately questioning their judgment in life choices. Like that's not supposed to happen for like another two weeks. Anyways, <laughs> let's hop into it. Honestly, I'm not sure in hopes that I find a nice guy on here, but that never seemed to be the case. Ha ha. Yeah, I, I totally feel for you. Um. It's not me though. You've watched Super Bad over 200 times, and I'm not ready for that type of commitment. IDK, man, that's very informative. Thank you. Honestly, to meet new people, I'm not pressuring anything with anyone, but if something awesome blossoms from Tinder, I'm not mad at it either. All right. I do know, Mia. I totally understand. IDK, why do you. We're not talking about me, squad. We talked about me for the first two minutes of this video. Are you, you not paying attention? Or Honestly, I'm bored. Okay. <laughs> and also trying to get over a relationship. Yeah, some, uh, some rebound. Uh, would really do that oh i probably shouldn't say to find people like you with bomb ass tinder brows oh sierra you touch my heart what's sad is that i'm probably not gonna respond damn i'm a dick hi hi there and this might be a little blunt but can i ask you a question yes why do you use tinder for fun this chick um is articulate as i continue to ask girls all the answers are pretty much the same like they're either bored or they're looking for the one like i don't know in the back of my head i was really hoping someone to be like yeah i'm just looking for some like just just for funsies and mom if you're watching this i promise that was a joke I'm, I'm not serious so i guess the moral of the story is no one's taking this thing that seriously i probably shouldn't either like i don't think i've had a single relationship where i actively looked at them as like a dating possibility first like we were cool and then it turned into something the healthiest option is to let things be maybe not rush things let things happen go their own course chances are i want to meet her um, I, who knows, like, when I, when I graduate college or something. Or not at all. Um, <laughs> but I'm probably still gonna use the app if we being real. Not necessarily because I'm getting over my, like, low-key fear of rejection, but because it is great 
for self-validation. I don't think there is any better feeling than getting swiped right by someone you think is attractive and never speaking to them again. Oof, what is up, y'all? If you're new here, uh, why don't you subscribe uh, and drop a like, all that stuff that they make us YouTubers doing. Uh, oh, and also hit the notification bell, please, because it's, it's like really fulfilling to see you guys click the video as soon as it drops. Like that, that means a lot to me. Comment, all that good stuff. I'm really tired. Nothing I'm saying makes sense. Um, <laughs> what else we gotta do? A shout out, shout out. Shout out to the boy Steven Geico, Steve1EG. Thank you, brother. Thank you for the retweets. It is much appreciated, man. Thank you so much. If you yourself want a chance of getting a shout out in the end of this next video coming up, uh, make sure you go like my pinned tweet on Twitter. That's really about it. Let's just see if I can get consistent again. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I'm out of here. Peace.